Hi everyone, I'm releasing a PenPot tutorial series. If you're not familiar with PenPot, it's a free and open source alternative to Figma for designing user interfaces and user experiences for things like websites and apps. It's all vector based, so it's going to be similar to Inkscape, but with a lot of added features with an emphasis on prototyping and interactive design. So you can actually design an app that you can click the buttons and it is responsive and it reacts to what you're doing. Also, everything that you design comes with CSS code and SVG code on the back end, so you can hand it off to a development team very quickly. It's not just a picture, it's actually code that is a lot of the work already done for you getting a website or an app up and going. So really cool software. It's also collaborative, so you can work together with a team in real time. You can leave comments, uh, you know, work together with clients. So this is a very full featured, very professional software, and it's absolutely already to the point where it's a good replacement for Figma, in my opinion. Now you can use PenPot at penpot.app. The development team is hosting a free version of it, or you can host it on your own local network. That's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing that with TrueNAS Scale and Docker. There's also talk of a desktop app that's being developed that's not released yet, but in the future, you should be able to uh, download and run this on your desktop as well, just like Inkscape or any other graphic design software. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'll see you over in the tutorials. I will say you might want to have a little bit of a foundation of vector and working in SVG first. So if this is a bit much for you in these tutorials, you might want to go back and spend some time looking at the basics of Inkscape first, and then this would be more, maybe more of an extension so I'm excited to share PenPot with you. I should mention also, I'm not affiliated at all with PenPot. I just think it's awesome software. I love sharing free and open source, creative design software with people. And so uh, I'm just making this tutorial series the best I can. This is purely just me trying to share something awesome with you. So if you think that's useful, go ahead and uh, check out the tutorial series and I look forward to seeing you there.